What is up guys, it's Mikey to Memory and welcome to my YouTube and most of all, welcome to episode uh, 6, was it 6, or oh, terrible, but I think it was 6, at any rate, um, with this particular episode we're gonna go towards at least Montera, um, since I haven't come as far as I wanted to in the previous episode, this will be the purely the path towards Montera and then uh, exploring around a bit, kill a bit and uh, you know let's get going oh and as always guys as always make sure to check that time descent you know to check my play through the descriptions Because they will guide you to the smallest of things. Which could be very handy, you know, if you are searching for specific things like quests or, you know, character builds and whatnot. But in this episode, at the very least, we will get our first Druid Stone. The Druid Stone of the Ripper Beast, if I'm correctly. Which I will only use as a servant of Adanos. It's a bit laggy though, so far anyway. Um, so if it continues as a madman like this... Oh, we'll see, we'll see. Three scavengers shouldn't be that hard to deal with, but you know, you can never be certain. Bunny Slayer! Now inside that cave over there, there's a, I think it was a shadow beast, I'm not quite sure. So I will check it out, but I cannot handle the shadow beast yet. So uh, should I come across it, and uh, I will try to kill it if it's actually there. But uh, I don't want to die, you know, so I'm not gonna make any rash decisions, because uh, Thus far, I have still yet to die, which means my hardcore run attempt is still intact. You know, unlike Gothic 1 and Gothic 2, where it relatively quickly ended. But uh, we're really not that far in the game yet, so, you know, I'm not gonna speak my mouth too soon.
three shadow beasts. Now there is no way that I can handle three shadow beasts. I would have my hands full with one, let alone three, so I'm not gonna, you know, attempt it yet. I will come back here later, once I do have the capabilities of handling these shadow beasts relatively easily, you know. So uh, let's head towards the mercenary farm, or so, shall I say the human orc mercenary farm. Let's see what's up there. Looks dangerous, but I'm gonna check it out nevertheless. Nothing. Nothing here? Well, that's uh, a bit of a shame. Not even a cave, no nothing. There we have the mercenary farm. I'm gonna use the main road to get there. So I can get my strength to 200, which should mean that I, I'm able then to learn large weapons, then I need to get it to 250 for the final one, and then to 300 for regeneration. Regeneration. Now, there, there are two ways that you can go through here. You can go that way, which will uh, lead you to a ranger slash druid party. Or you can go that way, which will lead you to a large army of bandits. Since I'm a servant of Adenos and I do need the druid stones, I'm gonna first go this way. As a uh, Hashishin, I will go that way. And as a rebel, I will, I will either go either way, depending on my mood at that point. Wait a moment. I've never seen you here. Don't tell me you slipped through the lines of the orcs. 
That's a big mouth you've got there. Really? Do you think I'm afraid of you, huh? If you won't work, I'll make you. You will report to Merrick, the leader of the Orc mercenaries in Montera, within three days, or you're in trouble, got it? How do I get to Montera? If you take the path up to the north, you'll get there faster. But you're sure to be attacked by bandits. The path to the west is better for you. It's longer, but not so dangerous. I see. Let's see what this uh, bugger got, got to sell. Show me your goods. Always get the pickaxes because you need 20 in total for Vanguard, the capital. So, uh, and if you want one yourself, which you will need to mine, you know, iron ore, um, gold, lumps of gold, or um, magical ore, you will need another one for yourself so 21 in total is all that you need at max I don't really have that much to sell but every little bit helps thanks man let's uh, fry some meat Nothing to steal here. Oh. Or like Homer would say, "Do." All right. So let's go to the Druid party now. Be aware. If you really want to get the Druid stone, the legitimate way. Make sure to get 20 of those stone roots. <clears throat> and if you don't mind how to get it, you know, you can also get it by killing his ass. But uh, since I'm a servant of Adanos, I am not gonna kill any rangers even those that have been ordered to be killed by the Yorks even those they will not be killed well not right away you know first I will get all the druid stone the legitimate way and then they're allowed to be killed but uh, not beforehand First, I need um, about 15 ancient knowledge and then I can learn um, tame animals or oh, summon animals. Which could be handy, you know, if I get overrun by, let's say, bandits. Then I could use any vicinity's creatures like wolves, blood flies, boars, rip beasts, doesn't matter. I can use them and then tame them so they will be somewhat of my companion. You know, the power of Adonis is great. I'm just looking for the stone roots, you know, um, to see how much I already have, because I do need about 20 of them. Oh, here they are. I got 8. So I need 12 more. And the beauty, the most beautiful reason why I'm gonna join and assist the rangers slash druid is because they are going to be the easiest 
to get 75% reputation, even 100, which will allow me to wear the druid robe or the ranger's outfit instead of the uh, human orc mercenary outfit. But they are quite expensive, I think. I'm not quite sure. We'll see in a bit. I don't have cure poison, so I just have to let it wear it out and then drink a potion. Now, in my hardcore run, you know, I will not be able or allowed, let me put it that way, to use this tactic to heal up, etc. Alright, so let's collect the remaining stone roots. There will be a couple around this riverbed, over there there will be a couple, and over there as well. You can always find stone roots near massive rivers like this one. Oh, I uh, bypassed too. As far as I know, you only need them once, which is uh, for the druid stone of the ripper beasts but uh, I'm not quite sure if you need them more often you just pick them up and you should be safe desert, Varant, and over there we have um, a lago, but I'm not gonna go there yet. How massive is this uh, river? Looks massive. But I'm not gonna tangle with it, you know, because uh, it's not my duty to go there just yet. Now I only needed one more, but uh, I will collect them all just in case I would require them later on as well. I highly doubt it, but uh, you know, better be sure than sorry. So uh, let's go towards one of the druids of Adanos.
can already hear the uh, rangers talking but uh, I'm gonna explore the surroundings a bit before I'm gonna actually go to uh, to them you know so that I can fill the episode up to as extended as possible since the next episode is going to be Montara. From having overflow potions to none at all. <sighs> I had about 20 I think when I left Cape Dunn and I now only have 3 left. But I did deal with Ortega and his bandits, gave even a potion to uh, Cyrus, which I rarely do, to be honest, but uh, he was nearly dead at that point, you know. So all in all, you know, potions are well used so far. Let me first quick save here, you know, so uh, it, should I die, I don't have to redo a whole lot. I hate these ripper beasts, let's see how I, I will do against them. So far, so good. Alright, so let's talk with the rangers and the druid. When you talk to Porgan, show him some respect, or you'll deal with me. Who are you? I am a ranger and a martial arts instructor. My name is Ericus. I'm a personal guard of the Druid Porgen, so think before acting, understood? What kind of place is this? A place of destruction and despair. This valley was once the largest village of the rangers of Mertana. People came from everywhere and were restored through the healing hands of our Druid Porgen. What happened here? The orcs destroyed our village and stole whatever they could find. I am only one of a few who survived the massacre. Cursed be all those who wreak havoc with the plants and creatures of Adnos. Indeed, my brother. You are at war with the orcs? We rangers are a peaceful people. We make it our task to serve the druids and protect them. But those wretched orcs came to us with the blade of war unsheathed. And now we are taking back what is rightfully ours. No more, no less. I see. Where are the orcs who did this? They retreated to the big cities of Mertana. We cannot reach them there. All that is left of them is a small orc patrol to the north. 
They are watching us. Can you teach me your fighting style? Not before I get to know you better, stranger. How am I to know you wouldn't use your newly acquired knowledge to attack me? I'm a servant of Adanos too, my brother. There's no need to attack you. Let's rough up that orc patrol. There's nothing I would rather do, but I don't know whether we are strong enough. Don't fret. We can do it. All right. It doesn't matter. You seem to know what you're talking about. I am ready. Follow me. For Porgon. For Adanos. Now you first need to do this in order to get the uh, broken druid stone, so I'm gonna do that first before I'm gonna talk to Porgen. There are more of the beasts. Well, that takes care of that. Good shot, brother. For you, filthy beast. Hey, they're still the beasts of Adanos, my friend, but they still need to be killed nevertheless. Because as a servant of Adanos, I need to be prepared, and in order to be prepared, I need to kill. Sadly, but true. More of the beasts. <sighs> you showed him. Well, that takes care of that. All right, so this can become quite tricky. Because there are four orcs, I think. Four, uh, three at least. Well, I'll chop you to pieces. I'll chop you to pieces. Now you're going to ah. bleed. No! No! <laughs> ah. Surely deal damage. <laughs> Wait till I get some Adenor's magic. That damage. Oh, damn it, wrong one. Beat the crap out of him. Oh, 
Well, that cost me my remaining potions. But, you know, I'm still wearing a leather garb, so my armor is not really that great. Orcs are creatures of Adnos, just like you and me. We should respect each other, not fight. I indeed agree, my brother. The Orc Patrol is history. Thanks for your help, stranger. Here, I want you to take this with you. May the light of Adnos lighten every path that you walk. We could also train a little more if you want. Would you teach me how to fight? You aren't ready for that. Good. Good. I want to be a stronger axe fighter. The axe is a good weapon for breaking through armor. You can do a lot of damage and send your opponent to the ground. <clears throat> Thanks for the training, my friend. Now I don't have enough gold anymore to purchase my armor, but I still got some stuff to sell. So I should be fine when it comes to the mercenary armor. But it's gonna take some time before I'm actually allowed to wear and buy the better ranger armors. So let's go to the druid and uh, deliver him him his a broken druid stone and he's gonna ask us to get some stone roots which I already have to restore the druid stone of the ripper beast and uh, by doing so he will give it to us well to me <clears throat> another one of those pieces <clears throat> you showed him there so much for you, filthy beast. But for the time being, my strength must reach 250, and then from 250, I will go to 300 with permanent potions, um, lifting up these wet stones, and uh, then I will invest my capabilities into hunting because uh, this guy also wears the bow and in order to wear a better bow I need to learn how to hunt also to take pelts teeth claws you know the usuals Adonos be with you what can I do for you wanderer I suppose you are in charge here I am no ruler my children, the rangers, are with me of their own free will, wanderer. I am a preserver of creation. We druids are guardians of the world and its nature. We draw our power from the strength of Adonos's creatures. Can you heal me? I can, wanderer. Come to my fire and I shall ease your pain. What creature is the source of your power? My druid stone possesses the power of the boar. But, alas, my stone was stolen by the orcs, wanderer. It is more than disturbing to know that it is in the hands of these foolish creatures. I have found... I have found your druid stone. Thank you, wanderer. But I see that it is pale and powerless. If it is to regain its old strength, I shall have to recharge it. Can you recharge the druid stone? I can, but I am lacking ingredients for the procedure of renewal. You have returned the stone to me, Wanderer. If you help me to recharge it, I will share my power with you. I will help you in your search for the ingredients for your druid stone. Very well. I need 20 stone roots. They grow exclusively in very damp places. You will only find them near riverbeds. Good luck. Here, your stone roots. Good work, Wanderer. Now I can recharge the Druid Stone. For the service you have done me, I will share my power with you. Take my Druid Stone and keep it better than I could.
Thanks. So now we have our first druid stone. The uh, druid stone of the boar, also known as uh, the Ripper Beasts. Don't use it near anyone's vicinity because uh, whether you transform in front of their eyes or not, they will attack you because you are a beast. I only use mostly the uh, Druid Stone as a way of walking around. Hello! This will allow you to walk past any critter except for the orcs, the Hushashin or the human rebels or mercenaries that is but uh, it's a, a neat little thing you know it's fun Alright, so let's go to Monterra. That was close. And that was close again. Each, you know, each path, whether you're Inos, Adenos, or Balear, has his, uh, you know, ups and downs. As a sample, you know, as a servant of Adenos, it's very hard to get any magical capabilities at all in early stage, especially if you only, you know, take um, Adenos capabilities. Uh, as a servant of Venus, you will have relatively quickly the capability of uh, regenerating, so no need for HP potions, curing disease and whatnot. The downside of that is once you're immune to that, you know, to poison, to disease, those magical capabilities are useless pretty much. 
and uh, Balear, you know, also has his capabilities. It's ups and it's downs, but uh, in the end, all three are relatively damn good. I'm gonna let you have it. I'll chop you to pieces. No! Die! Now the reason why I joined them in the fight against these orcs is not because I wanted to but uh, because I need to talk to one of the rebels for quests you know but as long as I do not kill them I should be fine Good or am I good? I'll chop you to pieces. No! Poor orcs. No! No! You guys do that. I'm gonna, you know, sit here by the fire. For the king. You're awfully brave. What do you mean? You won't get far talking like that with the orcs occupying the area. We rebels can be recognized a mile away anyhow. You should treat us with a little more respect. Otherwise, you'll end up like the desert merchants. What desert merchants are you talking about? If you follow the road to the west, you can still see their old stuff lying around. We robbed them and drove them off. Where are these desert merchants now? <laughs> they ran all the way to Montera. It would be better for them if they stay there. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for a message from our man in Montera. Your man? We planted a spy in among the mercenaries. He's supposed to let us know when the right moment has come to start the revolution. I want to join you. Then prove it. For days, one of those stupid mercenaries has been hanging around our meeting place. He's disturbing our communication with each other. Make him go away. Will do. Where is your meeting place? On the hill south of Montera, there is an old ruined tower there. Will you tell me more about your spy with the mercenaries? Just because you haven't killed me yet, doesn't mean I trust you. That would be too easy. And stupid too. You rob the desert merchants? Oh yes, and how. But before you get any silly ideas, we already took everything to Okara. Tell me more about Okara. You'll learn about that soon enough. Believe me. Okay, I believe you. 
All right, so let's talk with this merchant. I, uh, well, mercenary, I need to talk to him so I can later get him back to work with the mercenaries. So I will complete two quests with one stone, which is uh, that tower there. Here you have another statuette of Balear. I'm not, I'm not gonna need it in this particular playthrough, but uh, you know, at least you guys know which fan one. Not it's hard to miss, but hey. Beat it, you worm. Taking a little break, huh? Shouldn't you be watching the slaves or something? Why is that any of your business? Leave me alone. Get back to work, or I'll report you to your superiors. Oh, will you? Ha! I'm shaking in my boots. Just go away, you loon. I warned you. But you want to do it the hard way? Fine, man. Fine. You can also kick his ass, and that will also get him uh, back into town, but... You know, that will leave him with the yellow. Or orange, I mean. But, uh, and as a mercenary, that's not really something I want. You know, as a rebel, I wouldn't care, care less. But, uh, as a Shishin, or as a human orc mercenary, getting the reputation and getting them to green and stay on green is vital. In that cave you can find Wenzel's sword, it's also protected by a couple of hungry wolves which is also a quest here, but uh, I'm just gonna stand here and talk, go quickly to the rebels up there and um, you know pretty much about the end of the episode because the next episode is all of Mur Mertana, Montera, Mertana is this uh, all island part you know. So let's talk with this guy over here. Stop making such a commotion, or the orcs will spot us. What is your mission? I'm looking for a way to get rid of the slave camp guards so that we can help the slaves. But unfortunately, the orcs will raise the alarm as soon as they notice anything suspicious. We don't stand a chance fighting them in the open. There are just too many of them. You rebels are dangerously close to the city. We would take the whole place by storm if we could. But unfortunately, the orcs outnumber us. We probably wouldn't even make it to the temple complex. We already had one of our men infiltrate the orc mercenaries, but somehow he hasn't achieved much so far. Too many orcs in the slave camp? We can change that. And just how, Mr. Know-it-all? If those slave camp guards come running all at once, we're done for. One would have to pick them off one by one. Who is your spy among the mercenaries? If I tell you that, I might as well give myself up to the orcs right now. First, I would need some proof that I can trust you. I will think of something to lure the slave camp guards away. <laughs> Those orcs are better at using axes than their brains. But they aren't that stupid either. Wait and see. Now this will be worth watching. Indeed, man. What's the problem with your spy among the mercenaries? We've done a lot of damage to the city lately. The orcs haven't noticed. But the mercenaries have become more cautious. Therefore, I assume that our spy is lying low so he won't blow his cover. I'll figure it out. Like I always do. At any rate, guys, this is about the end of episode 6. In the next episode, we're gonna go to Monterra, complete the quests, and uh, get the reputation to go into the inner circle of the orcs, and... Uh, 
talk with one of the orc leaders within this city. But uh, thank you guys for watching and if you like what you see feel free to subscribe and if you do hit that notification bell although it can drive you nuts sometimes because of massively amount of uploads that I do. And uh, if you like what you see make sure to leave a comment behind and if you don't like what you see make sure also to leave a comment behind. Give us a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down whatever you deem necessary and worthy of giving it. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna go to Montera and uh, play the quest, do the quests there and uh, do what we have to do basically. So uh, see you guys later and I will hope to see you all next time.